Hey, welcome to Little Hollow Homestead this Sunday morning. We're getting ready to make Sunday dinner and we're doing all things pork today. So we've got a roast, a ham roast, fresh roast. We have a pound of breakfast sausage and a pound of uh, seasoned side pork. You can see we got it all seasoned, ready to go. And we're gonna uh, do a little stuffed roast today. So we're gonna take our roast and we're gonna cut it, maybe. We're gonna cut it right in the middle. You'll notice we're being very careful cutting towards ourselves. And there's a bone in there. So I, I left the bone in there for two reasons. Number, number one reason, I think it adds a lot of flavor to your roast. Um, number two, it's gonna help hold the roast together as we um, stuff this roast. So we'll just cut around the bone best we can. Getting in the center as best we can. There we go. Okay. So there you go. You can see we've got that roast cut around the bone pretty much except for right there. So the bone's going to kind of hold everything together as we stuff this roast. Okay, so we're just going to take some sausage, stuff it in here, get a good layer of sausage in the middle of that roast, lay that, tuck that back in, get this other smaller side. A nice layer of sausage around it. Get that all tucked in there like that. So there you go. We've got the center of that roast. It's like Big Mac. You got uh, pork roast, sausage, pork roast. Then we're going to take the rest of this, smash it fairly flat. on the top of the roast. As this cooks, uh, the fat and the flavor from this sausage is gonna trickle down through this meat and hopefully make it extremely, extremely tasty. So we'll do that. We've got just a nice thin layer of sausage on top. And then, we're going to start lacing our side pork. So I'm going to do that by laying these pieces down first. And I thought about doing this with bacon. I've done it with bacon in the past, but I thought uh, that side pork would be a good um, alternative. So we're going to take every other, we're going to lay it back and we're going to put one across. We're going to have a little extra that we'll cut off at the end. You lay those back then you peel back these two. It's complicated, a little extra work, but I think it makes it look nice. Once you get the rhythm down, it's like dancing. Dancing with the pork roast. Oop. All right, that turned out just about perfect. So there you go, it's nice and laced. We'll take, we'll cut these hands off, maybe, without screwing everything up, cut my 
finger. So with those extra pieces we just cut off, we're going to continue that lace down the side here just to use up the rest of our meat. Tuck that in nice and tight. Looks like we might be able to fit a little piece on the top here. We'll do that. Put that right there. Uh, let's see if we can find another place to put some. Click right there's a good spot. Stick to the side, lay that back over, and we've got a couple little pieces here. We don't want to waste them, and <laughs> how about that? I don't know. I had an extra piece, so there you go. All right, so there, it's all ready to go. Now you can season it with whatever you're going to season it with. I'm probably going to put uh, Montreal seasoning on top of this, debating on whether or not to add a sauce, maybe a, maybe a barbecue sauce, just a little bit maybe. But that's ready to go in our smoker. We'll go get the smoker going and we'll put it on in just a second. So stick around. So after much consultation and debate with Mrs. Little Hollow Homestead, <laughs> we've decided... No debate. No debate. She was all for it. We decided to add a nice little slather of Sweet Baby Ray's on top of this. Can't go wrong with Sweet Baby Ray's. We'll just kind of brush that in. That'll give us a nice looking glaze at the very least. Not to mention the added flavor at the end. All right, so there's that. Get our little curly cue on top. Paint it on. And Montreal steak seasoning. Love this stuff. Put it on anything. And there you go. It's ready to go in the smoker now. We'll go get the smoker, smoker uh, warmed up pre-warmed to our temperature that we're, uh, we're going to use and we'll go put it on. We'll show you that. As you can see, it's a, a gray, cold, wintry day. You look up here, there's snow falling up on the mountain above us. Perfect day to do a little smoking. And I don't mean tobacco. <laughs> So we finally got the Traeger grill figured out. It kept, it kept defaulting to error. So here's a little trick for you. If you take it, you turn the switch off. If it keeps going to error mode, I just learned this. Unplug the power source, wait 10 seconds, turn the power switch on, wait 10 seconds, turn the power switch off, wait 10 seconds, plug it back in, set it to the temperature, and it magically works again. Don't ask me how. It, I've been battling it for about an hour. Finally got it figured out. Anyway, my little tie downs here, you can see my hinges. I bet my hinges a long time ago, so I did my own little hollow homestead uh, fix it here. And that just helps hold that down. So we're finally up to temperature. We'll put our pork roast. You can see I added apple juice into the bottom of the pan there. Uh, so we're going to cook it on 180 for one hour. Come out and we're going to cook it for another two hours on 275. And uh, at that point, we'll spray it with a bunch of apple juice and then cover it with tin foil. And then it goes for another three hours at 275. It should give us the internal temperature that we're looking for for our poke pork roast. So there we go. We'll uh, tuck it to bed here for the next little while and, and keep tending to it, visiting it, and caring for it. <laughs> so we'll uh, catch back up in about an hour. 
All right, the time is up. Let's check on our pork roast. We've uncovered it. Get rid of the apple juice a few times. You can see it pooling up nicely up there. All right, we'll take it off, let it rest, and carve it up. We'll show you the finished product here in just a minute. So here's our finished product. It's rested. So we're gonna take it off. I have a problem. Mrs. Little Hollow Homestead, would you grab the tray out from under me and film? And don't drop the juice. Here, let's here. see if I can balance here, here, it. Here, here, here. Go. Okay. All right. Hey, looky there. All right, so we want to save the juice. We'll pour that over the roast when we're done cutting it. The sacrifices she makes. Let's see what it looks like. Definitely looks done. You can see, you can see the sausage layers in there. Looking good so far. We'll get this carved up. We're gonna go to my oldest son's house for dinner. So we take, there's our little curly cue. Isn't he cute? Well, what about you? But that looks like it turned out pretty good. You see our little our little cap of um, fresh side pork, sausage, roast, sausage, and then roast on the bottom there, if you can see it. We'll go ahead and lay this in our pan. And we'll take that juice that Mrs. Little Hollow Homestead just salvaged for us, and we'll drizzle that over the top of it. And we'll uh, head over to my son's house and have some dinner. But um, we'll wait for the family's reaction on the taste. But all indications look like it's successful. There's that bone we're talking about. Oh, there it is again. It's not going to be as pretty as those first slices were. But it'll taste just as good. Okay, so we'll get this all um, in our little tray here. Get the juice over the top of it. We'll head to my son's house and we'll pick the video up at that point and we'll uh, show you the taste test as we dig in. Stick around. So we've uh, done the taste test officially now. The family, how many thumbs up do we have? One, two, three, four. Oh, she hasn't tried it yet. She doesn't count. There's a thumbs up. I get a thumbs up. So right now we're seven out of eight in favor. So we'll, uh, we'll get my daughter-in-law to try it here in a minute. We'll get her vote. We'll have to add that one later. But it turned out okay. I think everybody likes it. Oh, Aiden's, Aiden's sideways. So we have one sideways vote. So there you go. Um, pork bomb was a success. It was fun to make, fun to cook, and I think it turned out good. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time right here at Little Hollow Homestead.